Hi guys, 10 question correct is 90 percentile, 12 question correct is 80 percentile. All these things, all these numbers are good to have, but when I'm giving them out, it doesn't matter to me because this is, I want to know how many questions to attempt. Yeah, yeah, kitna right over that obviously we'll come to know after the exam. So in this video, we'll talk about what is going to be your accuracy plus what should be your attempts, obviously it's based on your accuracy for your performance. So let's talk about the overall uh, uh, first of all. So this is a chart in front of you, depending on how much is your accuracy. First pause, take a step back, how much is your accuracy? Are you getting 70% accuracy, 80% accuracy, even 90% accuracy? So I'm giving the chart here for 70% and 80% accuracy, which is the normal accuracy for all the students. So if you maintain an accuracy of 70%, you need 26 question attempt for 70 percentile, 30, 40, 60 for 99 percentile. That should be your target. So this is the attempts. And then 80 percent is your accuracy, then 22, 26, 34, 54. Can you see the difference? If you build up your accuracy, you can see the attempts going down drastically. And that's what exactly I wanted to focus on. Because if you reduce your attempts, if you improve your accuracy, your attempts automatically get reduced as per that. Acquire so much. For example, my accuracy is 70%. In that case, my target is to get 90 percentile. I need to attempt around 40 questions. Based on the timer we have, this is not as per last year what happened. This is not as per what you can do in 3 hours. This is what you can do in 2 hours. In fact, what you can do in 40 minutes. So overall, your attempt have to touch 40 for 90 percentile. If your accuracy is 80 percent, then you can touch at 34 as well. We have students whose accuracy is more than 85 percent. In that case, even 50 question attempt is more than 99 percentile. So you have to adjust your accuracy as per this number. This is for the oral chart. Now we go section by section because of course you have to perform in the section wise as well. So for the engineer gen, you need to touch 60, 54 is the ideal number in case you want the main IM calls. For the new new IM calls for 95 percentile, maybe half of that 50 and 45 is a good number. Yeah. For the reserved category student, that number is at 90%, 80%. So you have to check according to your requirement. Okay. Now we go to section wise section. For quant and DA logic, the number is almost same. My accuracy is 60, 70, 80. Quant and DA normally the accuracy is higher. So you can look at 60, 70, depending on whatever accuracy you're getting. 70 percentile, 80 percentile, 90 percentile, and 99 percentile. So if your accuracy is suppose 80 percent, you need 16 question attempt is more than sufficient for 99 percentile. 16 question with chart set karo with 80 percent accuracy, you are getting 99 percentile. You will touch 99. 10 question, 8 question. So you can make up your chart here for quant and di. Same way for the verbal. Verbal may normally accuracy is lower. So 60 and 70, you have to look at depending on whatever accuracy you do. You have to look at the last five marks to understand your accuracy and then make a chart. Then look at that, that number. Okay, so section wise for the main items also, you need minimum 90 percentile. So this number, so even if accuracy verbal is very low, 60 percent, so probably 20, 25 attempt is a good attempt to touch your percentile. So all these things is dependent upon your accuracy. That's the question mark here because the accuracy is going to change. Now that's the disclaimer. It's going to change, it's going to change as per your attempt plus as per the level of difficulty of the paper as well. But if you give in the last five mocks, you'll get an idea about what is going to be your accuracy and we'll play according to that. All right, so that's a chart in front of you. So please pause the video here and take a note of this thing where you stand today. I've also made a calculator based on that in which you have to post your marks and you'll get out, get what the number of this, the detail, the detail of the calculator I've given in the description box. On that page, the page ka naam is score versus percentile versus accuracy. You have to just post the numbers and you'll find out how much is going to be your attempts required to reach that number based on your accuracy. So this should be a target. So please pause and set up your target according to this. All the best.